Hello there, it is Dr. Siobhan, and I am so excited that you have made the decision to join me for this challenge. Get ready to completely transform the way you see your husband. So I wanted to create this very quick video to share with you some tips and best practices for getting the most out of our next five days together because your time is valuable and I want you to really experience a shift. If you do everything that I offer, if you come with an open mind, if you remain committed and persistent to doing this work, you will feel differently about your husband. Something will open up inside of you and create a new possibility in your marriage that does not currently exist. And so I want you to do a couple of things for yourself, right? This is not about me at all. This is about you and the results that you are after in your marriage. And so the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to set an intention. What is it that you want to feel or experience as a result of participating in this challenge? It's very important that you come knowing what it is you want to get out of these next five days. We live our lives way too much on autopilot and just being tossed here and there by the circumstances. But what I want you to do is I want you to stand powerfully in an intention for what it is you want to feel, what it is you want to experience, how it is you want to be different on the other side of this. The other thing that I want you to do, number two, is to make a commitment to just go all in. That means right now, in this very moment, before you know anything that I'm going to ask you to do, you make a commitment to just go all in. You make a commitment to be coachable, to be open-minded, to just try and see and trust and believe that what I am offering to you will work for you if you work it. So commit and go all in. The other thing that I want you to do, point number three, is to be patient with yourself, to give yourself grace and compassion. You are literally we rewiring your brain. So for months or years even, you have been thinking a certain way and get accumulating a lot of evidence to prove what it is you think you're seeing. And so this process is undoing all of the stuff that's not helpful, that's not serving you, or your marriage. And so I want you to be patient with yourself. I want you to give yourself grace when you go back into your old way of thinking and know that as long as you keep moving forward, you will get this right. As long as you keep moving forward, you will figure it out and things really will begin to shift and your mindset and the way you see your husband will really be different. The other thing that I want you to do is to become obsessed with the process of this work over becoming obsessed with the results of this work. What does that mean? So a lot of times what ends up happening is we make a change within ourselves and we want to see an immediate result. We want to see an immediate impact. And so we look for the results to the neglect of who are we becoming in the process of changing our minds about our husbands. We look for him to start doing things differently. We look for him to start responding to us different. And that will happen in time. But what is even more important than that is that you fall in love with the process, meaning you're not distracted, you're not discouraged, you don't feel defeated if he is not responding the way that you want him to. This is about you and your inner transformation. Got it? So again, I want you to set an intention. I want you to commit to going all in. I want you to be compassionate and show grace to yourself. I want you to be in love with this process of changing your mind rather than being focused on the result. And then the last thing is I want you to hold yourself accountable, meaning you know when you're really doing this and you know when you're really not. There is a quote that a coach once gave me and it said, to know and not do is not to know. 
which means essentially you're like negating everything that I'm offering, everything that you are consuming by not applying it. And so you have to hold yourself accountable to doing the work. The Bible talks about this as well. In James 4.17, he says, it is sin to know what you ought to do and then not do it. And so this process over the next five days is going to be opening you up to the things you ought to be doing, the things that will make a difference, not only for you, but for the interactions between you and your husbands. And so if you consume this information, if your ears are open and your mind receives this information and you do nothing with it, then you have only wasted your time and my time. And my time is valuable and your time is valuable and your marriage is precious. So commit to doing this work and hold yourself accountable. I am very excited to get started with you. So again, set your intention, hit reply to the email or hit reply and post in the comments on Facebook. Let me know what your intention is. I want to support you. I want us all to be on one accord with what it is we are all collectively achieving as part of this challenge. Thank you again for joining in. You ready to get started? All right. Day one is coming your way real soon.